basically what happened. It's one of the things. Well, guys, this might be a thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, no real video today, just a bit of a update on what's going on. So we were trying to go do some dirt biking and I uh, started getting a little bit of a squeal on my front end. I thought, oh, my brakes are getting low. Whatever. We decided to uh, continue on our journey. The noise progressively got worse. Basically what happened is the pin that the caliper slides on was seized up. Not a big deal. Ate up the rotor, ate up the pad. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is I ordered the parts online and they've been lost in the mail twice. So they were resent out. I paid for $100 shipping and they were supposed to be here the next day. So they were ordered Sunday night. So we're supposed to be here Monday. We are now Wednesday and still no parts. I'm hoping, I'm fingers crossed, I did get a notification that they're at Canada Customs right now. So hopefully today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, but uh, yeah, the mail courier screwed me over. I mean, $100 for shipping and you can't even follow through. Wish I could take money for something and not follow through. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program shortly here. So you might be asking yourself, why the heck would you order stuff online? Well, it's quite simple. Our parts place here was over $200 per rotor per side and $150 for the pad. So call it $550 in parts. I paid uh, $24 per rotor for Ray Bestis and $40, I believe, for the pads. No, sorry, $26 for the pads. So do the math. It's substantially cheaper, even with me paying $100 shipping. And it's all Ray Bestis stuff. It's not no cheap China stuff. So nothing against the cheap China stuff, but <laughs> I'm not putting it on my brakes. So yeah, that's why I ordered the stuff online. Okay, so to further illustrate what my problem is, or was, this is my issue. So you see this pin? It does not move. It is solid. This is what they're supposed to be able to do. They're supposed to be able to slide to release pressure on the pads. Clearly, that wasn't happening. And in turn, this is the result. It, uh, it destroyed that rotor. The crazy thing is, these brakes have only been on this truck since right before I bought it, and I've only had it for a couple months. So yeah, it, uh, it ate that up in a hurry, but we'll get it fixed.